Hello everybody, welcome to Joy's Daughter of God. My name is Amy and today it is October 18th, 2020. We are on day 18 of One Proverbs a Day, so you know what time it is. Go ahead, grab your Bibles, and turn with me to Proverbs 18. And if you're not able to grab your Bibles right now and read along with me, make sure that you take some time uh, later today and have your own personal reading of Proverbs 18. And I'm going to open up in a quick prayer. Father God, I come before you in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for a new day and your mercies. And Lord, I just pray that you bless this video and let this video be pleasing unto you. And Holy Spirit, direct my mouth in the way, direct my mouth and my words in the way that you want this video to go. And Holy Spirit, give each and every one of us who hears the word and reads the word, give us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and teach us what it is that the Lord wants us to know. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and thank you. Amen. All right, Proverbs chapter 18. A man who isolates himself seeks his own desire. He rages against all wise judgment. A fool has no delight in understanding, but in expressing his own heart. When the wicked comes, contempt comes also, and with dishonor comes reproach. The words of a man's mouth are deep waters. The wellspring of wisdom is a flowing brook. It is not good to show partiality to the wicked or to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth calls for blows. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. The words of a talebearer are like tasty trifles, and they go down into the inmost body. He who is lawful in his work is a brother to him who is a great destroyer. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are saved. I'm going to read 10 again. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are saved. The rich man's wealth is a strong is his strong city, and like a high wall in his own esteem. Before destruction, the heart of a man is haughty, and before honor is humility. He who answers a matter before he hears it, it is folly and shame to him. The spirit of a man will sustain him in sickness. But who can bear a broken spirit? The heart of the prudent acquires knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. The first one to plead his cause seems right until his neighbor comes and examines him. Casting lots causes contentions to cease and keeps the mighty apart. A brother offended is harder to win than a strong city, and contentions are like the bars of a castle. A man's stomach shall be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth. From the produce of his lips he shall be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Wow, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. The poor man uses entreaties, but the rich answers roughly. A man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Amen. And we know who that friend is. It's Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for sticking closer to us than a brother. All right, well, that concludes the reading of Proverbs 18 of day 18 of One Proverbs a Day. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed Sunday or whenever you may listen to this. Uh, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just ask that you be with each and every person and I just ask that you go before them and behind them 
and walk alongside of them today, Lord. Keep them safe in their comings and their goings, their sittings, their risings and their sittings. Be with them, Lord, and protect them and show them the way that it is that you want them to go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right, you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.